So, after the war, then there was a big change in, in Sherbourne, would you say? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, economically. The mill was running, mm -hmm. Taco was running. No, Taco didn't come dog after food. the war. Taco came after the war. Well, yeah, well, a while. It's still running. Pharmacy was a big thing. In Pharmacy in Norwich. Norwich was a big, was dog a big. food was big. Now, it just, you know, it all died. Now people have gone. And did you go to Norwich much for anything? We went, we'd done, I talked about that last <coughs> night. We went every Saturday. My mother would, I don't know if you ever went, Lila and I, <coughs> my mother would go, and we'd walk into the store where, like McLaughlin's, pick up an outfit, and then we'd go into um, the Fish Five and Dime, Fish and Grandma Green. would buy these chocolate candies in a box, non pareil, they call them, no, with yeah. the white candies. With the, with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all. We couldn't tell her I what we wanted. I used to date in Norwich all the time. You I what? To, I used to go all the time. Oh yeah, date girls, and then we'd come home. That's where, I, come home. Met, that's where I met Sylvia. We still had the restaurant when I used to date her. Gloria. Sylvia. Too. Sylvia. Well, Gloria. Yeah, Gloria, Gloria was Olsen. second. She was. Wait, what's the diff Which one was the one who had kids and everything? Sylvia had one boy. Well, I don't know. She's was a knockout. But yeah, then Grandma would take us to Norwich. We'd come back, and that, you know, we just shop had one outfit each one of us. Gloria was a nice girl. So let's hear the story about Sylvia then. Where did I don't she... remember Sylvia. I don't know Gloria. No. Oh. Where did you meet Sylvia? <laughs> Uncle Don. Yeah. I told you everybody. Let's see. I don't know she came in the restaurant with somebody. How did you know Sylvia? And Jay said you had your nose in the paper all the time over in the corner. Yeah, right. <laughs> we used to go out three nights a week. Well, Gloria was the blonde. Yes. Gloria was the blonde. Yeah, I still got pictures of her in my wallet somewhere. <laughs> she used to come and stay. We were, she was get him out. out! We were Shut married. Up. Get him out! We were just married, and he had to work in a restaurant. And then huh? he'd say, Can, remember, we were, we were just married, you'd say, can Gloria stay here tonight? So Saturday she night, she'd nice, stay here. Yeah. She was a nice girl. And where did you stay? About Grandpa. Huh? Well, she, he didn't he stay home. with he her in those over. days. Oh, okay, that's how I was wondering. Maybe in the car, but not here. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're ready ready for the X-rated version of the video. <laughs> but Sylvia had, so Sylvia had kids, but so what, did, pe son, what did people think about that? They weren't too happy about Were you in a... You want, what a, a grandma you want the Lebanese thing. version or the American version? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give us both versions. Good worker. I don't remember her. I do. So, <laughs> I remember when you broke up with Gloria. What yeah, happened? What happened? Sylvia or Gloria, I was living at, I was at home yet. No, I was married to you. Why did I break up Gloria? Why would I do that? I can't <laughs> you broke up because she was moving away and you were drunk and I was at the house. Must be Don was over the road that uh, night because I stayed at Grandma's when Don was Then I met Chemist. I went out with her a few times. She was left her. She took a chemist in off of Vermont one week. Who? Judy Gibbs out of Syracuse. Manly, she was really I guess I must have been working. I don't remember them. And so why didn't any, what was the commitment issue? They didn't have a commitment well, in those days. Well, when I met Mom. Really? Just well, wait. Well, before Mom, what? So you said you remember them breaking up and Gra and Dad was all he was drunk. drunk. He walked and in what? and I heard him come in. It must be Don was working on the road or something then, and I and I was sleeping downstairs and he came in and he laid on the couch and he was drunk and I said, "What's wrong?" He says, "Nothing." Herman, <laughs> what's wrong? Well, I just broke up. She's moving away. <laughs> I always remember that. Is that right? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> she was beautiful. I had to move out of town to get away from her. She moved out. Was she, she trained? Nice looking blonde. Yeah, she went to the head nice. got another job someplace. Sharp. Grandpa, she was a chemist. I can't chemist. remember what she did. Pardon? I can't chemist. remember what she did. Don said she was a chemist. Yeah, it worked at or a pharmacy. Is that where she did? She yeah. was sharply. Yeah, she, she just sharply. stuck it out with her. She'd have a good retirement. She was well, yeah, what did you right. have going for you? You didn't have anything going for you at the time, <laughs> right? She couldn't no. stay with them. 
living at home with your I parents. I was still in the restaurant business then, I think. I can't remember because I met Sylvia while I was in the restaurant business. Tell her what Grandpa said. I think I told him before. My grandfather, what he said about Gloria. Which was? Well, yeah. Oh. Ehrman was going pretty steady with her then, and we met behind the restaurant. And I must have taken her up there or something, and he said to my grandfather, Judah, I want you to meet uh, Gloria. And he looked at her, and in Lebanese, he says, no, no, she's too thin. You want, in Lebanese, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to go get the Abbott girls over there. Nice, <laughs> yeah, nice yeah. and big when you find them in bed. Nice. He's telling this in Lebanese, and this young girl is standing there. <laughs> but that was my grandfather. He liked all the women. When did they go to Florida? The first time they went was Uncle George and Mary Abbott's. Six of them in a car. Yeah. And a lot of suitcases. Um, that and they're all Chrysler. <laughs> yeah, you I think about that. No, one. it was Abbott's Cadillac, wasn't it? Well, they went in Uncle George's Chrysler, I think, I one year. That. I remember mm -hmm. going, loading up out there in front of Abbott's Cadillac. Well, you and, probably got some film. I do, but what, when, what, what year do you think they went? Well, I have, we still had the restaurant. You must no, the restaurant burned down. No, they, they asked no, me they, to go run Abbott's restaurant so they could all. I, get no, no, no. I thought they went to Florida. Didn't Carlo and Lila come here and help? Yeah, them? yeah. The first time. But after the restaurant burned yeah. down, they yeah. still went because they wanted me to go run Abbott's. Yeah, they're going to go for a month or something. The first and time. I wouldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't take. It. They went the first. A few times they went, they went in February, and went then they'd call month, up, right? well, they went for two weeks. They'd call up and say, it rained every day, how do we know anything about Florida? Remember, it rained every day, so we got to stay another week. <laughs> <laughs> they were having a good but time. Six of them would drive down with one car. Yeah. When, did they, when did they buy a trailer? Um, I don't know. They came home uh, one year. Uh, they had that for 60s. 20 years, right? So yeah, I try to think. That would have been in the 70s. When, when did the uh, Disney World start? 73. Well, they had it before that. Right, because I, I went there the first year of Disney. We went there. Yeah, we went there the first right. year. We met you. Right. Yeah. So they must have had it just before. Grandma's been gone. Since We're up there in the Disney gone. World. Was they went one way and all of a sudden there's Tom no. Hoy. No, no. <laughs> You're about this high then. <laughs> so we got about 12 minutes left. Let's get Aunt Jay's version of my mother. Of your mother? Well, what happened when the first time... You know, my mother. What do you know well, about that? I thought this? they were in the dining in the grandma's living room. I thought, oh my God, she's beautiful. Very nice, very nice lady. Well, who? You, you, don't don't realize, <laughs> you don't realize. You don't realize what pressure you put on a person to bring them home like that. Her, me, and Carla. Well, Carla, mm -hmm. he lived next mm -hmm. there, but you know, everybody's talking. Did you want to get and They're all this? looking you over, you know, to see if you see a flaw in you. you really was. Well, they want nice. to marry Kenny from Utica. <coughs> So dad, dad had not had met mom where? I met mom. What's her name? Randolph. She was in Italy on Randolph. vacation. She was tending bar in some dive out there. Mary. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Lewis dated her first. Right. Randolph. No, I, 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 I was in uh, Lewis's restaurant, and Jackie had was dating her. Jack, I went over and we sat down. And Mom just got back from a skiing trip. Her hair was all over. She was a mess. Really. I mean, I had no interest whatsoever. Then the following week, I ran into my Randalls. Remember Randalls? Mm -hmm. They were in there, and she was, uh, you know where that she is, was all North. dolled up. They used to have dances there, dressed up, and really looked nice. Makeup dances on. Of drunks. But I'm, I'm going to get into this with you and Mom, which is why I wanted Aunt Jay's perspective. So, oh. So... What uh, so so she brought my mother over to the house. Her dad brought my mother over to Grandma uh -huh. and Grandpa's, and what so what what transpired? Do you remember? I just they sat there. Oh, they'd been out or something and sat there and visited. Yeah, nothing. And they had nothing coffee. Great. Don't forget the yeah. coffee. And did Grandpa Modi say anything good, bad, or indifferent? No, or I think I think he liked her from the beginning because she was Italian, you know. And, uh, oh, that wasn't a problem. There's no problem. Well, no. we don't know because they're both Catholic. Catholic, yeah. Yeah, Catholic. No kids. I don't think <laughs> she ever, lived nearby. No, I don't think he ever said anything. And she was some, you know, close by Norwich. But they wanted him married by then, I'm assuming. Oh, so. yeah. yeah. They want to get married the next week. Don, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and when I went with Don, they didn't like him. They still didn't. <laughs> Until their did. dying day. Never <laughs> <laughs> did, right? And uh, so, what did... Uh, when did you realize it was serious? Like, yeah. oh, wow, this yeah. woman... 
they might be marrying or get yeah. married. When did no Aunt Jay like when did I realize they were serious? Yeah. Probably when they said set their date and then they came here and said we want you to stand up at our wedding and I said, Oh no, I'm too old. They oh no, no. No, when he got engaged with the first year you, you, you told me, I remember that. Oh Irwin got engaged. Oh, he's gonna know. get married. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was it. That was all Thank the you, news. Don. Put down here. <laughs> How long did you go with Mary? About Two years. Year. About a year. Oh, it was a year? Yeah, not very long. From February, you went out on Valentine's Day and then got married the first following time April. We got married. First date we had was Valentine's Day. Yeah. I, I called up every Ilya. I couldn't remember. <laughs> I knew she was an Ilya. <laughs> and I called up all the Ilias before I finally got to write one. We called her Jinx and people still yeah. call her Jinx. Yeah. And I called her up and after I found out it was Jinx, I says, Hi. We talked. And I says, How about uh, going out Saturday night? And she says, well, I don't know, Jack. She says, I think I'm tied up Saturday night. And I says, Jack, this isn't Jack. She says, who is it? I says, it's Erin Modi. She says, oh, well, I thought it was Jack. I says, no. She says, yeah, I'd love to go out. But, like, didn't you feel bad asking out your cousin's girlfriend? I mean, not girlfriend, but somebody she was dating? Mm -hmm. Wasn't there any... Sure, that wasn't the first time. No. Was there a lot of gossip after that happened? A lot, You're a lot. stealing your cousin's woman? No, Jack had a I don't think they thought anything about it, because then he went with Gene, right? Gene yeah. Sims or whatever he was. School teacher. I don't think I ever went out with anybody after I met Gene. No, Jackie Lewis. <laughs> then he married after that Gene somebody. Gene. Glad you're clear on that. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't. So, but you. Okay. So you didn't know what you were going to do with yourself at this point. You. Okay. Yeah. You had the tree farm. That's it. I was in the tree business. I you were in the, in the tree land, business. Buying land. And I learned the forestry business through all these guys that worked for me. But nothing else dawned on you. You didn't want to go any place. You didn't feel like, geez, I'd like to move somewhere else, no. or go to Florida, or go to, you know. Then Oakland. I got into the real estate business after I met Leo Crane. Okay. And that well, was when it, I met Leo, Leo approached me one day. He says, geez, he says, this was before all the New York people used to come up. <coughs> Leo Crane was an old guy here. Him and Floyd Miner were the big real estate dealers in the area. <coughs> and, you know, Buck, Is that Bucky Miner? Oh, yeah. Lee's Bucky grandpa? Miner. Yeah. 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 And Leo says, geez, he says, you know a land business pretty good. He says, you ought to get a license, real estate license, he says, and we'll sell all these people from New York City land. So I did. I got a salesman's yeah. license. I worked for Leo for a while. And then I went out, got, I went to school and got my broker's license. I worked for Leo for a while and then started my own business. And Mom thought it was a good idea? She was supportive? Well, she loved it, yeah. I still had the tree business, but then I, the real estate business got so busy, I gave up the tree business, sold the land, paid off some notes at the bank. I had big mortgages at the bank with all the land I bought. So was Mom the big breadwinner in the house when you first got married? Did that feel funny that she was the one making... She didn't work very long after we got married. She just substituted in Sherbert. Well, she would have got pregnant in 65. She worked till she was pregnant, she told me. That would only been a year, though. But she, it's substituting. I don't think she worked teaching. It's steady. So what did Grandma and Grandpa do during this time, then, after the restaurant? Well, it, then they started going to Florida for six months. Well, they were with Abbott's, then they went for six months. But they would have been close to, I mean, they weren't quite 65 yet, right, when that happened. So they would have been fairly young to just kind of retire, Well, right? when was retirement back then? It might not have been this old. Yeah. Dad. I can't remember date-wise when all this happened. I mean, they've been, they had a restaurant for 14 years, and now they just weren't doing anything? They, they must have, they oh, no, enjoyed Grandma, it? no, no. Grandma went to work for Abbott's and Maz and Paz. A Abbott's oh. bought... No, Ozzy. Ozzy bought Maz and Paz, and Grandma went to work there. And then, remember, she'd come and say, Damn that, Ozzy. GD that, Ozzy. He drives me nuts. You know, Ozzy wanted everything perfect. Hard working. I mean, it should have been done yesterday. And so at Christmas one year, we got a picture, remember? We got a picture of Ozzy in the service. I mean, a big in uniform, picture. Got the can. And, we, and we wrapped it up and we gave it to Grandma for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> remember that? <laughs> she worked there for quite a while and then she finally gave it up.
couldn't handle it. And Grandpa and, too, or no? Did he? Was he in the mill, or had he given up? I think, he had given up. Yeah, I think no. he wasn't doing anything. Yeah. And then Grandma sold um, vegetables from the garden. No, we raised a uh, big garden, raised strawberries. Strawberry. And sold it. Yeah. Sold, sold them. Sold them out. Front. Where? Yeah. Cabbage. In the sold. back, they had stuff. They the pickle it? factory. Yeah. You said cabbage mm -hmm. in a pickle factory. Yeah. Now, at this time, they had a, a problem with Russia too. They were they had the the, the Cuban missile issue. Was that ever on people's minds? Anything like that? Do you ever remember thinking, "Gee, we're going to go to war again"? No. Since they were it really so close wasn't to no. that big a deal. It didn't bother us, no. I don't think. Right I mean, now, not like today. Well, they knew that he was happens. small potatoes. Mm -hmm. Really, didn't want them under water. He dropped a bomb on. Japan's right, but, but but a lot of a lot of the in Cuba would been no more Cuba, you know. Right, but the thought was the but Russians would have Russia. shot him back. You know, I mean, you weren't scared of of war or anything no, like we that. Big, we was the big bully. United States was the big bully. See, when the Russian army and Grandpa must have been in his seventies, right? Because he died. Well, he was Grant, the Russian oh, no. in what the late sixties. Right. Yeah, so. he must have been in his sixties then, because they had right. the place in Florida for twenty years. He died at eighty-one when he was eighty-one. Yeah. Yeah. So he must have just retired and did nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, his needs were nothing. You know, Grandpa just was happy to have a table and chair and food on the table. He never needed the luxuries like we do today. But after having the restaurant and, and all the activities that went on there, I mean, they still... Didn't bother him. No. Did he go hang out somewhere and keep up with all the gossip? No, and he'd go, go see... The Lebanese people. He was a great storyteller. He told yeah. all the stories. But he didn't have like a diner. He could just go hang out. Yeah, his, uh, he didn't have an audience anymore. I guess no. is what we're trying to say. Just so Lila's family would come and he'd. Well, he'd go over and talk to Saba Saba. Yeah, yeah. Saba Saba. Right. Right. Mrs. Abraham. Was, uh, and uh, uh, what's his name there? Jimmy Collette. Rose Collette and that little red Alex house. Alex Collette. Yeah. yeah. Alex Collette. He'd walk around to see. All those, them. you know, all the old timers are all gone. Well, did anybody ever sit around? But you know, Grandpa. Um, you know, the, okay, let me go back. The what? Wait a minute, let me go back. The the Schaefers are selling the restaurant, right? You know that. Yeah. Ozzy's. And they got a lot of problems in the family. Okay, just a little bit about Grandpa. Anyways, if Grandpa was living here, it would never happen. Grandpa and Uncle George used to go to Utica. Do you remember that? And if you had trouble in your family, they would be the, the man in the middle. The they would Mediator. take care of us. Really? There'd be no fighting. It was. Grandpa and Uncle George would, and Sabbath, the mm -hmm. three of them were highly respected. They always went to the city, and if you had trouble, you they straightened it up. They went to every house and straightened it up. And they didn't do it for gossip or for thanks or anything. Another thing Grandpa did, when anybody died years ago, you had what they call a, a table, Lebanese way. You had a table and you had a box. Cigar box. And you put money, you put your name down, I gave five dollars, you gave ten, you gave three dollars, and you put the money in here and you had the list and Grandpa was always asked to do it, him and Santa, because he never told what was in there. We never knew. We'll give what? We said to Grandpa once, let us see the list, not your business. Never. I mean, he was a very honorable, very honest man, wasn't uh, he? He had his hand in the kettle. Oh, he did while. not. <laughs> Grandpa never did. One time Mrs. Abraham said to him, Oh, when people die, and all I do is give money, money, and give food, food. I don't know why I have to do it. He said, did you give money in here? And he, she said, yeah, how much? Three dollars? He said, okay. He went, he got the box, he gave her the three dollars. Cross her name off. <laughs> don't do anything for us anymore. And what would happen with the name? With oh, they give it to the family. The family. family. Oh, then the family. family. Okay. Thank but he thank always people. kept it. They trusted Grandpa mm -hmm. and Grandma, and they trusted Seba. Seba was just like Grandpa, beautiful man. I don't know if they trusted him. He was a barber. Yeah. He was a barber. Did they ever sit around? We got about a minute, two minutes here. Did they ever sit around and think after he'd been here now for fifty years that he would have so much? That was he? Did he seem? I mean, um, did he ever outwardly express anything think, like that? You know. I think he's very thankful, and I think sometimes he wished he'd gone back to Lebanon because. Right. When, Remember we had, I don't Never know, saw his mother again. No, remember we had, went to the Sherburn Inn and had a dinner for him for his birthday, and he started to cry. And he, we said, you know, we're all there, Lila and everybody, hey, get up and say something, Grandpa. And he said, well, I'm so happy to have all my, I don't know the exact words, I'm so happy <coughs> to have all my family here. We're sitting on the porch at the inn. 
He said, but I have one thing, I wish I had gone to see my mother. Because he left her, and Mary, Abraham left her, mm -hmm. and then they had a brother in Utica, and they never saw Grandma. So you never met your Grandma? No. You only, you had the picture of her, you know, right. the one with, in the hall there, or whatever. Yeah, it's and that's the that only time he ever had regrets that he didn't go. But see, he was going to go, but then he got sick, right? And then he sent for her to come here. Right, yeah, yeah we got that. And the yeah. priest went back to Lebanon and said, Oh my God, you live far away from the church, you never can go to church. So she wouldn't come. But then the Corys came, Mr. Corey, the older man, mm -hmm. and he told Grandma, and Grandpa how he took care of his mother, and that made him feel better. And did, they, you, ever, did you ever think about the passage of time at, at that point, say up to the 60s, about how things had changed? Did you ever consider, geez, you know, we were poor and now no, things are so much better? No, everybody was. Everybody in the corridor was the same way. You each got two presents for Christmas. There was only a few people in the had, had more plumbing. You had all those. We I know, but I'm asking you if you thought about it in the 60s, you know, boy, we've come such a long way from... No, I guess we were raising the kids you don't think, you know. Just well, we I realize still got scars on my leg when I went to take a leak. In the outhouse, they had a dog. This was on the previous video. We know all about it. <laughs> 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 the dog bit you? I yeah, don't know. Like you know. you see that in the paper today where the guy you fell got in? got two minutes, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Don. No, you uh, see in the paper today where the guy fell in the, in the septic tank and he couldn't get out? Yeah. And something was clogging up and he bent over to uh, an older man. He Go ahead, got Don. down, went you know, head first in. He didn't get right in the Bye. soup, you know. But he couldn't get back out. And he hollered like hell. Finally, his wife see him out there to always see his legs kicking, and she got help and got yeah. him out. You know, you know the, <laughs> did, did, the did, were there <laughs> correspondence by letters and stuff, though, or even oh, by yeah. phone? Grandpa like, would he would, go and talk, go to no, a phone no, somewhere and no talk phone, to his mom or no? No phone. He would go to Seba Seba, who was the only one who wrote Lebanese and understood it, and have him write a letter to Lebanon. Oh, Grandpa couldn't write Lebanese either? But he could read it, right? He, he, could could read it. Read he couldn't read it. He couldn't write it. Yeah, and he would, Seba would correspond for him. And then they always sent money there. Grandpa always sent money to his mother. And to buy the mule. The they only comic in the whole Lebanese paper was Tarzan. <laughs> he used to read Tarzan to me all the time. <laughs> Thank you.